TFNN.mobi. That's all you got to type in, TFNN.mobi on your smartphone browser, and you can listen to the stream that way as well. Folks, don't forget to check out the Go Long America promotion. You can get more information right on the homepage of TFNN.com. And basically what you do is you go to any Barnes & Noble uh, book location, the store itself, not online, but go to any Barnes & Noble store, pick up a copy of Tom's book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, and then register at TFNN.com for a chance to uh, your community could win a free live seminar on Money Mastery by Steve Rhodes and Tom O'Brien. A lot of uh, regions of America taking part in this uh, promotion so far. Denver, Northern California, uh, New York uh, doing well. So uh, the, the area of the country that orders the, the, the most number of uh, Tom's book will um, get a chance to win a free seminar. Again, a live seminar by Steve Rhodes and Tom O'Brien uh, on Money Mastery. So go ahead and uh, check out the details right on the homepage of TFNN.com. Myself, I write the Ultimate Growth Stocks newsletter at TFNN.com. I, um, I use a combination of fundamental and technical analysis to select growth stocks for my Ultimate Growth Stocks model portfolio. Uh, my latest weekly update went out earlier today, so be sure to uh, check that out if you want to get a free trial to Ultimate Growth Stocks right on the homepage of TFNN.com. You see me right in the carousel there, or you can click on the Newsletters tab, then click on Investment Newsletters, and you can get more information there. So uh, turning to the market today, let's uh, see where we're at. The big news today. At it looks like Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi is going to resign his post after Parliament uh, passes economic reforms uh, demanded by the European Union. I believe that's going to be next week. But uh, Berlusconi met with Italian President Giorgio Napolitano for about an hour uh, today. And uh, the, apparently the decision uh, came that he will resign, Berlusconi will resign his prime minister uh, position. So t stocks uh, took that as a reason to rally with about 50 minutes left to go in Tuesday's session. We have the Dow up. Call it 64 points, half a percent to 12,132. NASDAQ outperforming a little bit, up 24.5 points, 0.9% to 2719. And the S&P 500 up 10 points, 8 tenths of a percent to 1271. And um, this, is, uh, this is getting pretty interesting here, folks. Um, uh, don't forget, I'm going to be looking at some charts on my show today. If you want to look at those charts right along with me, pull up a chair, log on to TFNN.com, and go to Tiger uh, TV, Channel 1 specifically, and you look at the charts right along with me. And uh, the show is archived on Channel 13 and Tiger TV as well. So taking a look at a chart of the S&P 500, uh, getting very close to a swing point here of 1292. That would be the intraday high set, uh, oh, what is that, about seven, eight days ago. But um, S&P 500 getting very close to that swing point of 1292, so only about uh, 20 points uh, twenty points away, thereabouts. Uh, really, all the charts uh, look, look pretty similar here. Let's go take a look at the NASDAQ composite. You can see this index is also uh, doing well today. Volume uh, so far today tracking a little bit higher. Volume was very, very light on Monday, well below average on the New York Stock Exchange at 780 million shares. Right now, New York Stock Exchange volume is tracking about 10% higher than uh, Monday. So even with a little bit of a volume increase uh, today on the NYSE, uh, still you know on the on the light side, but nothing nothing really new there. Uh, Nasdaq volume. Yesterday, very light as well at 1.7 billion shares. It's also tracking about 10% uh, higher today. But you can see the uh, chart of the NASDAQ composite here. It's also getting uh, pretty close to a swing point of 27.53. Uh, that would be right in this area here. And let's not forget about the NASDAQ, uh, NASDAQ 100. Uh, this is an index that I've been uh, talking a, a lot Lately, there is some dead weight in the index, which I've uh, mentioned from the likes of uh, Amazon uh, Priceline, which we're going to talk about in a little while, reported excellent earnings uh, late Monday. That's helping the, uh, the NASDAQ 100 rally. It's up about 1% today to 2395. Uh, the swing point that we're looking at in the NASDAQ 100 would be uh, 2412, right in this area here. So. Uh, yeah, market technicals look look pretty darn good here. I've been uh, talking about the fact in 
recent weeks that uh, my growth screens uh, continue to look uh, pretty good. Not really seeing much in the way of institutional selling in this market. You know, volatility is still uh, is still out there, and it was my my hope a little while ago that uh, the headlines out of Europe were will eventually you know quiet down. But uh, you know, bottom line is that no one would be surprised to wake up over the next uh, week, two, three weeks, and you know here some headline out of uh, out of Europe that's going to cause some some selling in the market. We have come up a long ways uh, since the lows were put in in uh, early October. So even if we were uh, to kind of bide our time before the indexes really break out over these swing points that I just talked about, it would wouldn't be un wouldn't be unhealthy action at all. At this point I'd really like to see First of all, let's let's hope we get a good breakout for all the major averages over the swing points that I just uh, talked about. And if that happens, which it looks like there's a pretty good chance it, it will, uh, then you want to look for declines in light volume. You don't want to see waves of institutional uh, selling behind uh, index uh, declines uh, going forward. So if we can, you know, continue to generally see good volume behind up days, light volume behind uh, down down days, I think the bulls have a um, uh, pretty good case here. All right, moving on. Let's uh, take a look at oil up a dollar twenty-eight today to ninety-six dollars and eighty cents a barrel. That's its fifth straight gain. So oil definitely finding a bid. A lot of a um, lot of interesting uh, oil stocks. The um, a lot of industry groups uh, in the energy sector, uh, specifically in the oil and gas sector, continue to act uh, very well. Uh, just looking at um, a couple of uh, names here. Let's take a look at um, a small cap in the oil and producer space. This is Kodiak Oil and Gas with a market cap of about one and a half billion. Stock is up close to three percent today to seven dollars and fifty seven cents. I don't look too much at stocks priced under ten dollars but uh, this this one has been a uh, has been a real rocket ship and uh, continues to look very very strong showing showing strong signs of uh, accumulation. Uh, Kodiak uh, looks for oil in the Rocky Mountains, Williston, and Green River basins. Uh, earnings uh, at this company recently up 500% from a year ago to six cents a share. Sales up 263% to 29.5 million. So uh, Kodiak Oil and Gas, uh, interesting small cap name in the uh, energy space and really seeing a lot of, uh, lot of stocks. Not so much with the drillers, not so much with the field services firms, but in among the oil and gas uh, producers um, is really where you're seeing the top fundamentals in this uh, space. Another uh, interesting name, let's take a look at uh, ticker uh, CXO, Concho Resources. Uh, another strong performer here. This company also came out with earnings uh, last week. Uh, earnings up 48%. Sales up triple digits, 101% from a year ago to 454 uh, five million. It's a much larger company than Kodiak Oil and Gas. The market cap for Concho Resources is about 10.3 billion, but uh, good technical setup here as well. Stock continues to show relative uh, price strength. And then another uh, company similar in size to Concho Resources is Continental Resources, CLR on the New York Stock Exchange. Continental uh, shares up close to 1% today to $66 uh, even. Also in a good uh, technical setup here, market cap for Continental Resources is close to $12 billion. They have operations. Um, in Montana, North Dakota, South Dakota, the Bacon and Three Forks uh, reservoirs, uh, oil-rich areas uh, there. That's located in Montana, uh, North Dakota. So Continental Resources uh, also looking strong. So really, you know, seeing a lot of uh, strength among the oil and gas uh, producers. And um, just recently, I added a, an oil and gas uh, producer name to my Ultimate Growth Stocks model portfolio. I didn't have any uh, energy exposure up to that point. Um, but uh, optimistic about uh, more gains for that new holding. Uh, taking a look at gold, gold for December delivery, closed up $8.10 today, or half a percent. It settled at just under $1,800 an ounce. Uh, 17.9920 an ounce was the settle for December gold at the New York Merck. Uh, the gold uh, contract uh, did hit an intraday high of 18.0440 before uh, pulling back. Some um, lot. Uh, gold miners uh, working pretty well out here. Take a look at El Dorado Gold. That's E G O on the New York Stock Exchange. Stock is up three tenths of a percent today. 
six cents to nineteen dollars and forty five cents uh, EGO is in a, a very nice uh, setup here it's trading above its 50-day moving average has been moving uh, sideways would not be surprised at all to see El Dorado gold try for a move over nineteen dollars and eighty nine cents that would be its intraday high right uh, right in this area here so it looks like it's forming a little little handle area in a base that started back in September uh, fundamentals very strong at El Dorado gold again that's ticker EGO on the New York Stock Exchange and let's see what else we have here. IAG, another name I wanted to talk to. I am gold is actually set to report earnings after the close today. And um, stock is under a little bit of pressure here, down 2.8% to $22.44. IAG was uh, getting pretty close to uh, its former high set back in uh, September here, right, right a little over $23.50 a share. Uh, stock is under a lot of bit of pressure today. Earnings after the close uh, expected to be up 154% to $0.33 cents a share. Sales up 66% to $421 million. So uh, stock not trading that well ahead of earnings, so we'll see what IM Gold has to say after the uh, close today. All right, uh, economic data, not much in the way of economic data this week, uh, but earlier today my friends over at Investors Business Daily came out with the first reading on consumer confidence for the month of November. Remember, uh, later this week on Friday we'll have the uh, University of Michigan sentiment reading for November, but the Investors Business Daily tip economic optimism index rose by not much, a third of a point, three-tenths of, uh, of a point, or uh, seven tenths of a percent to 40.6. So the reading came in at 40.6 versus 40.3 in October. So it was up just uh, marginally. Index readings above 50 indicate optimism, below 50 indicate uh, pessimism. So a slight increase in consumer confidence for the month of November, according to Investors Business Daily. Hey, we'll take it. Why not? All right, folks, uh, when we come back, we'll take a look at earnings reports from Rackspace Hosting, Priceline, and a slew of other uh, companies. You're listening to Break on Investing on TFNN. We'll be right back. Homeowners, did you know a burglar could break into your home and get away in just five minutes? A locked door may not be enough to keep a thief out of your home. Think about what you can lose, and then think about this. Now you can get a free security system monitored by ADT, the leader in home security. Pick up your phone now and get free hardware, free medical and fire alert, and free activation. It's an $850 value. Just call Protect Your Home, your authorized ADT dealer, at 1-800-949-8207. You'll get 24-hour protection, and there's no cost for parts or activation. So call now about a free security system monitored by ADT. Call 1-800-949-8207. $99 installation charge, 36-month monitoring agreement at $35.99 a month. Call for terms and conditions to this offer and protect your home license numbers. Call now, 1-800-949-8207. That's 1-800-949-8207. Direction Shares Leverage ETFs views the benefits of exchange-traded funds with the innovation you expect from Direction, providing investors with opportunities to magnify their short-term perspective, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. Direction Shares, ETFs to the power of X. To learn more about Direction Shares, click on the Direction banner on the front page of TFNN.com or call 866-476-7523. There is no guarantee that the funds will achieve their objective. The ETFs are not suitable for all investors and should be utilized only by sophisticated investors who understand short-term trading, leverage risk, consequences of seeking daily leverage investment results, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. An investor should consider the investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses of Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus contains this and other information and can be obtained at directionshares.com. Please read the prospectus carefully before investing. Distributed by Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com, author of Mastering Probabilities, a daily investment and trading newsletter, and teacher of The Money Game. Studies show that three out of five people are afraid for their life in trading these markets, and the number one reason given is fear of loss. Look. 
Fear stands for false evidence appearing real, and the money game proves it. Lesson number one, don't risk more than 1% of your trading capital on any trade. Why, you ask? Because 35 trades in a row where you risk 50 cents and make a dollar are all you need to double your trading capital versus the 230 losing trades in a row you would need to bring your balance to $100. Let me teach you more about the money game risk-free for 30 days. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and click on my name, Steve Rhodes, for your 30-day risk-free trial. You are born to be a money master, and I'll teach you how. Would you like to discover the next great tech stock? David White, TFNN's technology guru, has just launched his new newsletter, The Technology Insider. In his newsletter, David will be looking for those shining stars that may turn into the next Apple, Microsoft, or Cisco. David combines his technology background as a software programmer with his market skills as a successful professional trader to give you this unique newsletter. We're on the verge of the next great tech run. With the Technology Insider, you'll be in front of the run-up and not lagging behind. David is developing a long-term investment portfolio. Therefore, we're only offering the Technology Insider as an annual subscription with a remarkable price of only $395. That's right. For a little over $1 a day, you'll receive the fundamental technology wisdom and technical trading skills of the Technology Insider, David White. What are you waiting for? Go to the front of TFNN.com, click on the link on the front page, sign up for your two-week free trial, and become a Technology Insider today. This segment is brought to you by Goldfields. For more information, just click the Goldfields banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Breakout Investing on TFNN. My name is Ken Shreve. You know, just finishing up a couple thoughts on this uh, latest reading on consumer confidence that came out from IBD earlier today. There uh, were two components, or two subcomponents, I guess you would say, of this index that actually performed uh, pretty well in the latest uh, survey. The six-month economic outlook, which is basically a measure of how consumers feel about the economy uh, in the next six months, that um, that jumped pretty significantly, uh, significantly up 4.1% points or 11.2 percent to 40.8 so good news there and another component the personal financial outlook also fared pretty well in the latest uh, survey that um, uh, well actually let's see that declined 2.3 points or 4.4 percent to reach 49.6 but still that reading of 49.6 is very close to uh, optimistic uh, territory so there is some uh, hope among the consumer uh, at least uh, in terms of their personal financial outlook so overall I mean a so-so reading uh, from the IBD tip economic optimism index earlier today overall the index was up uh, slightly to 40.6 from 40.3 in October remember index readings above 50 indicate optimism below 50 indicate pessimism. All right, uh, shares of Activision uh, Blizzard. Let's take a look at ATVI. ATVI is going to be reporting earnings after the close uh, today. The stock uh, right now is up 1.5% to 1395. It hit an intraday high of 1440. The news here is that the company launched its hotly anticipated video game, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. The last edition of the military shooter game Call of Duty Black Ops sold about 5.6 million units on its first day of release in 2010. Black Ops generated $1 billion in sales in a little over two months. So a lot of uh, buzz about the new release from Activision Blizzard. And uh, again, the company is set to report earnings after the close uh, today. After hitting an intraday high of 1440, uh, shares are... Uh, well off the high, uh, down to 13.95, actually trading in the bottom half of its range. But as you can see, Activision has been a uh, pretty strong price performer since um, since uh, August, uh, September, thereabouts. Uh, in earnings news, let's take a look at Rackspace Hosting, ticker R-A-X. 
on the New York Stock Exchange. Uh, Rack Space uh, just still derives most of its revenue from web hosting, but it has branched out into cloud computing where it's doing uh, very well. Rack Space having a great day today. Stock is up 8.4% uh, to $45.27. Uh, earnings at Rack Space up 56% from a year ago to $0.14 cents a share. Sales up 32% to nearly $265 million. Uh, 19 point 1% of the company's revenue uh, came from cloud computing services in the third quarter. Basically, uh, large companies rent computer servers and storage by the hour from Rackspace, which operates data centers accessible via the Internet. So uh, Rackspace having a great day today. And uh, the stock is not not far now from uh, from an all-time high. Let's, let me just check and see where it's all-time high. Yeah, $46 and... 17 cents 4617 is the uh, is the high right here so uh, getting pretty close to that um, to that uh, 52 week high and volume very strong in rack space uh, today so stock having a good day let's also take a look at um, actually I think I have a uh, let me check a, a, a weekly chart here of rack space give me one second yeah here's the Here's the weekly chart of Rackspace hosting, and you can see it's getting very close to a swing point of forty-six dollars and seventeen cents, uh, which I've highlighted in this uh, in this chart here. Ideally, really, what I would like to see Rackspace do from here is just drift a little bit lower. In a, in a technical structure like this, I, I'd like to to see the stock um, just get one last little low volume shakeout where you could get um, you know a, a better entry point. I'm a little hesitant to to chase the stock up here around forty-five dollars and. 31 cents. If the market pulls back in, in coming days, uh, maybe get a little pullback in rack space where we could um, get a better entry point. But um, uh, you know, I, I think a good argument could still be made that the stock is probably viable right here because of the strong volume that's in rack space. But ideally, in a technical structure like this, I'd like to see uh, just a little downward downward drift in price in light volume. Uh, that would be a handle area forming, and then uh, perhaps you would see a, a new breakout uh, attempt over the high point in the in the handle. So there's a look at a, a weekly chart of rack space uh, acting, uh, acting very, very well. Uh, why don't we just take a quick look at Priceline as we head into break. When we come back from break, we'll uh, pick apart its earnings report, but the stock is having a great day today, up 7.6% to $547.84. Also trading up near its session high. We'll uh, go over its, its earnings report. Uh, when we come back, you're listening to Break on Investing on TFNN. Stick with us, folks. We'll be right back. TFNN is proud to bring you the cutting edge of newsletters. Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks. Ken is a top-down investor who lets price and volume in the major stock indices tell him when to be in the market and when to be out. By using his unique blend of fundamental and technical analysis, Ken will protect your hard-earned capital while realizing breakout gains. Go to TFNN.com today. Click Investments and Newsletters and get Ken Shreve's Ultimate Growth Stocks free for two weeks. Give the gift of silver this holiday season. TFNN and Great Panther Silver want to give you the gift of silver. From now until December 30th, TFNN will hold a drawing once a day, five days a week, business days only, and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire. Winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier. There's no contest and no gimmicks, just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Did you know that the price of gold is up over 24% this year while the GDX, the Market Vectors Gold Miners ETF, is actually down 1.4% this year? Not all gold stocks are created equal and not all gold stocks move with the price of gold. In October, Tom O'Brien recommended a buy of FCX in his gold report and only six trading days later advised his clients to close the position, profiting almost 22% in this one trade. During the same six trading days, the price of gold was barely up 5%. Tom O'Brien's weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, gives investors the inside edge they need to profit in this gold market. Each Monday morning, Tom issues a gold market update at around 9.30 a.m., then issues a full report each Tuesday afternoon. For as low as $75 per month, you can gain access to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. To order your Gold Report with a free 30-day trial subscription, log on to TFNN.com today or call 877 518 
What type of investor are you? Conservative, moderate, or aggressive? No matter your investor personality, your overall portfolio should reflect your financial goals, time horizon, and your risk tolerance. Help ensure your portfolio is appropriately invested with an asset allocation plan from Morgan Stanley Smith Barney. Simply picking the right stocks is not enough. Research has shown that choosing the right proportion of stocks, bonds, and cash is essential to the success of your long-term investments. Morgan Stanley of Smith Barney believes a carefully selected portfolio can lower your volatility and increase investment return potential. Find out about what asset allocation and a Morgan Stanley Smith Barney financial advisor can do for you. Call Angelo O'Brien, financial advisor and certified financial planner of the Clearwater, Florida branch at 727-441-6108 today to discuss your personal financial needs. Asset allocation does not assure a profit or protect against loss in declining financial markets. Investments and services are offered through Morgan Stanley Smith Barney, LLC, member SIPC. Great Basin Gold is a mining company engaged in the exploration and development of two emerging gold properties in Nevada and South Africa with a total resource base of more than 23 million gold ounces. Great Basin Burnstone Mine in South Africa opened in February of this year with a resource of 20 million gold ounces, becoming the first mine to open in the historic Whitwaters Rand Basin in the last 30 years. The Burnstone Mine is projected to have a 25-year mine life and is fully financed with production anticipated to be over 250000 ounces per year at a cash cost of only $450 per ounce. The Hollister mine in Nevada became fully integrated in the fourth quarter of 2010 with annual production estimates of 110,000 ounces of gold per year over the eight-year mine life at a cash cost of only $527 per ounce. Great Basin Gold is cash flow positive and trades on the Toronto and New York stock exchanges under the symbol GBG. This segment is brought to you by Direction Shares. To learn more about tactical tools for the sophisticated active investor, hit the Direction Shares banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks, to Breakout Investing on TFNN. Ken Shreve with you. And uh, what do we have? About 25 minutes left to go in Tuesday's session. And uh, indexes up near session highs. Dow getting up close to 1% uh, here, uh, up 106 points to 12,175. The NASDAQ up 1.2% to 2727. And the S&P 500 up also 1.2% to 1276. I mentioned the uh, swing points that uh, we're looking at in the NASDAQ composite at 27.53. The uh, NASDAQ is only about 25 points uh, from that swing point, so it's looking uh, better and better that we uh, could see a near-term breakout for the NASDAQ composite. Same with the S&P 500. It was recently trading around 12.76. Its swing point is 12.92, so only about 16 points uh, from that swing point. And don't forget the NASDAQ 100. I mean, you've got names like Win Resorts in there, Amazon, uh, some um, uh, large cap tech names that have been weighing that in index down, but the NASDAQ uh, 100 is not far at all from a swing point of 2412, and a big reason be behind the NASDAQ 100's performance today is uh, the strong earnings report from Priceline that we talked about just before uh, we went into uh, break, but shares of Priceline up close to 8% today. Uh, that's $38.84. The stock is up to $547.84. Uh, Amazon uh, excuse me, Priceline did clear a swing point today of 526.75. That would be right in this area here. Uh, right now, the stock is about 3 or 4% above that swing point, borderline extended. I'd be uh, careful about uh, chasing the stock uh, up here, but volume is very strong today. Earnings up 87% from a year ago to $9.95 a share. Sales were up 45% to $1.45 billion, so good beat on the bottom line and top line for Priceline. Gross bookings, which is the value of all travel services bought by customers, jumped 56% from a year ago to $6.3 billion. International gross travel bookings surged 73%. You remember uh, last week, week before, I was kind of talking about Priceline's chart. It was not trading all that well. It was lagging the market. A lot of growth names were working. Priceline was not working, and there was some Europe overhang on the stock. But the company dispelled all concerns about Europe. Again, international gross travel bookings um, 
uh, surged 73%. So uh, Europe uh, did did pretty well. Uh, U.S. bookings rose 13.1%. So great day for, for Priceline. Let's also take a look at uh, Fossil. Fossil is known for its uh, watches, the former uh, high flyer. Uh, has been uh, very weak uh, technically. It, uh, it's trying to rally with the market today. Uh, it's still down about 3% to $94.50. It is trading at its session high despite a, a 3% decline. But Fossil had uh, numbers today, uh, kind of middling uh, growth. Earnings were up 9% from a year ago to $1.09 a share. Sales up 23% to uh, $642.9 million. The company uh, lowered its earnings guidance for the fourth quarter, but after that raised its full year guidance. So um, uh, investors selling shares of uh, Fossil today. All right, uh, want to go to take a phone call here. Uh, I think Travis is on the line from St. Louis, Missouri, wants to talk Price smart. So let's uh, pull up a chart of Price Smart here. And uh, Travis, how are you doing today? Hey, I'm doing just fine. How are you today, Ken? Uh, just great. Thanks very much. Yeah, so you had a question about, question about Price Smart. You've been talking some reports and things on some stocks, and I I currently own some call options, and they're actually free calls now. The 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 calls that I have left, and I know they have earnings. I think Thursday morning. Uh, so I'm just trying to decide, maybe, maybe get your opinion on maybe what to do with these last few calls that I own. They're the 75 November calls that I bought at a month or so ago. Um, well, I'll just, tell you just what. Want to get your stock. I'll, I'll tell you what. Well, if you want to hold on the line, uh, Travis, we can talk about uh, Price Smart after after the break. Why don't you do that, and uh, we'll take a look at uh, Price Smart's uh, chart. Real high quality uh, company here. I like it a lot. So uh, we'll do that. Talk to Travis uh, when we come back. Uh, stick with us, folks. We'll be right back. As Tom says, go long America. Now you can join TFNN and Barnes & Noble to keep money in your community. Purchase Tom's best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, your ultimate trading mastery system, before December 31st from your local Barnes & Noble store. And you will be given access to not just one, but two exceptional archived courses. Tiger Scaling, The Tiger Butterfly, and Gartley. The Art of Timing the Trade is more than just a book. It's an educational journey that will help you understand the Wall Street greed cycle and learn how to recognize profit from genuine price moves. So, for the cost of just under $30, you will receive an excess of $300 in trading education from Tom O'Brien, TFNN, and Barnes & Noble. And you will be helping to support an important local business, your local bookstore. If you do not have a Barnes & Noble in your community, then go to your local bookstore. We'll be sure to work with them to keep your purchase local. So let's approach our local businesses keep money in your community and get a great education but be sure to act now because you have until december 31st to take advantage of this opportunity go to the front page of tfnn.com for details studies show that 10,000 hours is what it takes to achieve outstanding results unless you use the power of leverage the power of leverage folks is key to attaining outstanding success in your trading and investing I'm Steve Rhodes, co-host of The Money Masters with Tom O'Brien, seen daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily trading and investment newsletter. Let me take your trading to a new level, a whole new level. Let me teach you the secrets that the real money masters use each and every day to produce consistent financial results. On top of that, I'll transform your life in ways you never thought imaginable. You'll overcome hurdles like an Olympian. Here's the beauty. I'm so certain that I'll transform your life. I'm giving you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Time, folks, something you'll never get back. The time is now to take action. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com and order Mastering Probability. It'll change your life forever. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we pay you more for converting your jewelry to cash. Let's go to uh, Brian in New Jersey. Hey, Brian, what's going on? Hey, Tom, I uh, just want to let you know I did uh, give you some jewelry. Uh, my jeweler offered me uh, about $650. I should get a check in the mail tomorrow for about 1200 At Tiger Metal Exchange, it's all about honesty when converting your jewelry to cash. Okay, let's go to Paul in Florida first. Hey, Paul, what's going on? Uh, I want to commend you on the Tiger Metal Exchange. I just did a deal with you guys the other day. Oh, good. I'm very happy. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Now, yeah. did you sell us jewelry or did you 
you buy coins off or yeah, something? I sold you jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. See, what we waited at was less than you guys said, so, you know, you're totally honest. At Tiger Metal Exchange, we give you the tools to value your gold, and it's absolutely free. Call 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. We've created the easiest, safest, and most honest cash for gold process. Tiger Metal Exchange. It's the only call you need to make. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, everyone, to Breakout Investing. And I believe that uh, Travis from St. Louis uh, held on over the break, and uh, he uh, had a, a question about Price Smart. He owns uh, some calls in the stock ahead of its earnings report. Uh, I believe they report uh, tomorrow. Do I have that? Do I have that right, Travis? It's either tomorrow or Thursday morning. I'm not. It may be tomorrow after the close or Thursday morning. Like I said, right. I don't know. Yeah, so you know, Price Smart as as a retailer, I mean, it's just, there's just a great story of growth uh, going on at Price Smart. I've talked about the company in, in recent weeks on, on the shows. A couple of issues with uh, with Price Smart that that concern me. I mean, over the past two years, the stock is is up more than than 300 percent. If you look at a a weekly chart of of Price Smart, and we can we can do that right now on Tiger TV, uh, you'll see it's it's made a major price move. Are they going to report a, a quarter of a strong growth? Uh, coming up this week, I don't think there's uh, I don't think there's any doubt that the numbers are going to be there. Earnings are expected to be up 23 percent from a year ago. Sales up 22 percent to about 445 million. Um, you know, I mean, it's it, execution-wise, the company really does not have any missteps. Now, are the calls that you have, Travis, are 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 they profitable yet? Or I mean, are you are you like really fully exposed to the stock here? What's what's the story with those? Yeah, they're they're actually free. Um, I had four okay. of them, um, and, and they doubled, and I sold half of them to get my original money back. Um, so I've got two left, um, and they're and they expire in two weeks. So I'm just trying to say, you know, do I take a shot on this sucker and see you see if uh, they hit a home run maybe on Thursday and the stock gaps up, you know, five ten points or something, you know? Yeah, you know, I mean that's that's always a tough call. It's a, it's a tough call for me as as a portfolio manager. You know, I have my my ultimate growth stocks newsletter, and you know, do you uh, you know you, uh, there have been several instances in recent weeks where I've had a, a stock, and you know, do I hold it through earnings and 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 hope that earnings are good? So it's it's always a very tough call. I will say that the stock technically still looks very very fine. I mean, it's holding its 20-day moving average. Um, you know, just really trading tightly, and and it is a stock that is under a fair has been under a fair amount of accumulation in recent weeks. So, you know, the question is, are, will the earnings be enough to, you know, fuel a, a, a breakout over eighty dollars a share? I wish I had that that crystal ball, but um, you know, we can just we can just go by the fact that the company's got a great track record of execution. I think the growth is going to be there. Uh, for people that don't know that, um, you know, Price Smart operates basically, um, uh, you know, wholesale uh, shopping facilities in the in Latin America and the Caribbean. Basically, it's the, the Costco of Latin America and the Caribbean. So technically, it looks fine. Fundamentally, it looks fine. Um, it's it's not showing any weakness at all ahead of earnings. Uh, it is probably priced to perfection, though. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you'd disagree with that. It's not it's not going to have oh, any. I don't. Yeah, it's not going to have any leeway. Uh, for a, a slight miss. So, uh, tough call, Travis. I wish I could tell you exactly what to do, but uh, fundamentally it looks good. Technically it looks good, too. It has made a, a huge price move over the past couple of years, though. Right. Well, if you have time, too, um, could you take a look at, at Intuitive Surgical? Uh, I was considering going short on it, and it just looks like it's just dying up here. Um, uh, I'll hang up and listen to you to see what your, see what your thoughts are on that. Okay, sounds good. I was going to talk about uh, Intuitive Surgical. Thanks so much for the call, uh, Travis. Yeah, Intuitive Surgical is, uh, you know, stock here, uh, uh, daily chart of Intuitive. It, it, it gapped up sharply after uh, earnings and um, has really, really not showing any signs at all that it, that it wants to go down. Uh, you know, a lot of people like to short strong performers like Intuitive Surgical. Volume has quieted down in the stock. It's moving higher today, making a big move higher today, up about uh, close to 2%. Uh, 
uh, in very, very light volume. So do you short the stock up here? I'm not a big fan of shorting uh, leading stocks. And, you know, since early October, Intuitive Surgical is one of the market leaders. So uh, w the way I would normally handle this or, or stocks that I'm thinking about shorting, uh, I really wait for signs of institutional selling to start to, to, to crop up and wait for a trend to develop. I don't like uh, shorting stocks that are in uptrends, and Intuitive Surgical is in an uptrend right now. I like to short weakness, not strength. Uh, so that's, that's my take on uh, Intuitive uh, Surgical. Uh, so thanks again to uh, Travis in St. Louis uh, for that call. Uh, taking a look at some other uh, movers today, let's uh, take a look at uh, Apple. A lot of stocks uh, strengthening here uh, into the close. Shares of Apple today up close to 2% to 406.82. Uh, uh, this is another stock to me that is starting to look tired uh, up, up near a, a possible top, but as you can see, it has been firming up nicely at its 50-day 50 50 moving average, really not showing any signs that um, it wants to break down, so a lot of people might, might be thinking of shorting uh, Apple up here as well, but uh, again, the, when, when you short a stock, you want to short weakness. You don't want to short strength. You want to uh, short stocks that are uh, clearly starting to break down. Uh, Intuitive Surgical is not breaking down. Uh, Apple is not breaking down either, continuing to hold uh, its 50-day moving average. Taking, uh, taking a look at Stamps.com. Stamps.com recently reported uh, very strong earnings. Another, another name that is, um, uh, continues to act uh, very well after its gap up in price. I think it was uh, last week. Strong earnings uh, came, came down in, in light volume. I think I have a, a save chart of Stamps.com here. Let me see if I can pull it up. There it is, stamps.com. Yeah, this is stamps.com uh, with its 20-day and 50-day moving average uh, plotted. So you can see stamps.com came right down to its 20-day line, uh, has firmed up. The stock is up 3.5% today to 29.37. Uh, this is basically do-it-yourself do postage at home, a real uh, innovative uh, technology here, and the company is uh, really showing good bottom line and top line growth in, in recent quarters. Uh, not, a, not a big company by, uh, by any means, a market cap of 420, uh, 421 million, but stamps.com has a lot of uh, fundamental and technical uh, characteristics I like to, to see in a stock. Uh, moving on, let's take a look at Lululemon. Lululemon is uh, a name that I like to, to talk about every now and then. Uh, stock is uh, up close to 4% today to 57.38. Haven't given up on this one yet for uh, a breakout from a good uh, double bottom uh, chart structure here. The uh, buying area would be 61.80. That's its uh, intraday high uh, set back in uh, September. Uh, Lululemon still has a ways to go to, uh, to get to that uh, price level, but um, it is uh, firming up nicely today, up close to 4%, like I said, to 57.38. So uh, earnings are due in about a month, uh, going to be out in early December. Uh, earnings at Lululemon expected to be up 39% from a year ago to 25 cents a share. Sales up 34% to 234.7 million. So um, now a lot of people saying they've missed the boat since early October, aren't in the right stocks. Uh, still seeing some setups out there, and if these uh, indices eventually break out, which is a possibility we could see more uh, breakouts in individual uh, names. So keep uh, paying attention. We'll be right back, folks. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. If you want to get great trade setups in equity as well as the option market, come over to TFNN.com and test drive my daily newsletter, Market Insights, for two weeks absolutely free. Each trade setup comes with a profit projection as well as stock placement. Included in Market Insights is a Twitter alert service. This allows you to take advantage of intraday setups. Volatility is back in the markets. What does that mean to you? To me, it spells short-term opportunity each and every day. The days of trending up on light of volume are gone. We have come off the highs with volume across the globe. Don't get caught in a complacency trap. Many of the indices have given back two months of trading in one week. We have a trader's market. You can take advantage of this trader's market by test driving my daily newsletter, Market Insights, free for two weeks. Market Insights will give you the edge you're looking for in the markets. Go to TFNN.com under newsletter. Hit the Market Insight tab for your two-week free test drive right here, right now. Give the gift of silver this holiday season. TFNN and Great Panther Silver want to give you the gift of silver. 
from now until December 30th. TFNN will hold a drawing once a day, five days a week, business days only, and one lucky entrant will receive one of these beautiful coins that we will mail to whomever you desire. Winning one of these extraordinary coins could not be easier. There's no contest and no gimmicks, just a simple drawing allowing you to give the gift of silver this holiday season. Go to the front page of TFNN.com for details. Are you looking for some extra cash to help pay off some of your bills? Let Tiger Metal Exchange convert your unwanted jewelry to cash. We pay out 80% of the market price for gold. Our payouts are the highest in the industry, more than double our largest competitors. And we've created the safest, easiest, and most straightforward process for converting your jewelry to cash. Log on to TigerMetalExchange.com and get your free scale, your free eye loop, and get the cash you deserve now. We provide a free online calculator that converts your jewelry to cash at up-to-the-minute spot prices. We insure your items for up to $75,000 per shipment free of charge. We videotape the entire valuation process so that you can view it online. You can call us toll-free at 866-618-8888 or log on to TigerMetalExchange.com. Let Tiger Metal Exchange put more cash in your pocket without ever leaving the comfort of your home. Join the list of thousands of satisfied customers and go to TigerMetalExchange.com. It's the only click you need to make. Put the power of the Chapman Wave methodology to work for you. No matter what market you trade, what time frame you trade in, or your trading style, the opening call, Basil Chapman's daily market newsletter, is bursting with the information and trades you need to become a more successful trader. I've been using Basil Chapman's Chapman Wave methodology for several years now. His Chapman Wave can be used for any time period for not only equities, but futures, currencies, commodities. I've been also a subscriber of his opening call, which I find an invaluable tool to help me analyze the potential of the market each day. He gives you opportunities to go short and long. It includes recommendations on stocks. I strongly recommend people using the Chapman Wave and very, very strongly support the use of his opening call. To find out more about Basil Chapman and his Chapman Wave methodology, and to get your two-week free trial of the opening call, a $64 value, visit TFNN.com today. Here's what people are saying about Tiger TV. Let's go to John in Tampa. Hey, John, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you, sir? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? A wonderful day. I love your Tiger TV. I watch it every day. I'm like a kid in a candy store. Oh, man, I appreciate you out there watching it. How long have you been watching the Tiger TV? I watch it almost a month now, and it's just wonderful. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh, yes, yeah, it's cool. You see the charts and everything. Thanks so much for the hard work. Tiger TV, a great news service from TFNN.com. Catch Tom O'Brien, founder and CEO of TFNN, professional trader and educator. Also, a regular guest on CNBC, analyzing the commodity markets. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, up next on TFNN. Welcome back, everyone, as we head into the close here. Five minutes left to go in Tuesday's market session. The NASDAQ and S&P 500 up about one and a quarter percent, up near their session highs. Another impressive uh, performance uh, by the major uh, indices. The Dow lagging a little bit, but not too bad, up nine-tenths of a percent or so. So it looks like we'll get a close uh, near the highs today. I mentioned uh, volume, not overly impressive today, maybe tracking about 5%, 10% higher than uh, Monday's levels, which were very, very light. I uh, mentioned a couple of uh, setups I'm still watching in the market here. Uh, you know, the railroad stocks uh, still still look uh, interesting to, to me here. Let's take a look at Union uh, Pacific. The railroads continue to show pretty good uh, bottom line and top line growth in recent quarters. Annual earnings growth um, uh, pretty strong as well. But here's a look at Union Pacific up uh, eight tenths of a percent today to 102.48 and what you have here is a nice little uh, nice little cup with handle pattern forming frankly with Union uh, Pacific this is the uh, handle area right here. See, Union Pacific came up off its uh, up up off its lows in early October. Uh, came up to around the you know 102, 103 dollar price level and has started to drift lower uh, sideways. That is setting up a, a potential uh, breakout over 103.80, which would be the intraday high right here, the high point in the handle. So Union Pacific uh, setting up pretty nicely, and uh, let's not forget about North. Folk Southern as well. Another railroad also 
setting up nicely here for a possible breakout. Uh, stock is also up about seven tenths of a percent today to 74.38. Watching Norfolk Southern uh, in a cup with handle base here with a potential buy point of 75.86, the high point in the handle right here. So uh, both Norfolk Southern and Union Pacific uh, looking uh, pretty good here. And how about Estee Lauder? You know, when a stock gaps up in price and holds on to its gains uh, tightly, it's always worth uh, noting. And that's what uh, Estee Lauder is, is doing just absolutely beautifully. Very bullish price action in the daily chart of Estee Lauder. The company gapped up uh, last week huge. And then you can see uh, three days in a row where the stock has just kind of moved sideways uh, tight. Stock is holding on to all of its gains. Very bullish action so far in Estee Lauder after its big gap up in price uh, last week after the company reported strong earnings. Um, coming up after the close, we're going to be watching earnings from Weight Watchers, another uh, company in a strong industry group. You know, names like Herbalife, New Skin, uh, Weight Watchers also expected to deliver strong growth. Uh, stock is uh, having a tough day ahead of earnings down 5% to $70.68. Wonder if uh, the market uh, knows something. We will we will know shortly, but uh, earnings at Weight Watchers expected to be up 24, um, excuse me, earnings up 59% from a year ago to 94 cents a share, with uh, sales up 24% to 411 million. Uh, Weight Watchers was setting up okay, but its price action today is uh, is a bit disturbing ahead of uh, earnings. Still, strong growth is, uh, is expected. Also, let's take a look at Universal Display, P-A-N-L, on the the uh, NASDAQ stock is up 4.5% today to 49.51. It's been a volatile few days of trading for Universal Display. The company uh, is a, a supplies a very interesting uh, technology. They basically sub supply organic light-emitting uh, device uh, technologies to the display and lighting industries. The company is expected to lose a penny a share, but uh, revenue growth has been strong in recent quarters. Uh, this quarter's sales are supposed to be up 76% to 12.4 million. So a uh, small company, but innovative uh, technology. It'll be interesting to hear what Universal uh, uh, Display has to say after the close today. Thanks very much for tuning in uh, today, folks. I'll be back on Thursday at uh, 3 p.m. Eastern. I'll be calling in to Tom's show uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, around uh, 4.30 uh, Eastern. Thanks for listening. Have a great afternoon, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow on, on Tom's show. Take care.